and welcome to our live streaming. We're testing a few things out with live streaming today around the idea of Agilastic office hours and showing you a different feature each week with time for questions and comments. So today I wanted to take a moment to share with you the Agilastic Spanish text editor, which was added about a month ago uh, to the normal text editor. When you're going to use the Spanish editor, you can head over to the assessment library, create a new assessment. We're going to create a Spanish quiz. Spanish quiz. And then we'll go ahead and author a new question. We'll just stick with multiple choice for today. All right. Now, when you go to enter your question, the moment you click in that box, you'll see that the text editor pops right up. You have tons of options in the text editor for formatting a question stem, whatever way you want to format it. So as you can see, there's options for paragraphs, bold, italic, strike through, underline, um, different alignments, inserting multimedia. You can add a link, add a table. Uh, you can add subscripts, superscripts, insert an image or video with this button here. Uh, there's the math editor, which pops up a whole different window, um, which, oops. But the one we're focusing on today is the Spanish editor. So here you can add accents to the words that you're typing. You can also add punctuation that you won't find in the normal text editor or on your keyboard, potentially. So we'll go ahead and we'll write a question. Let's see. So you can just type it right in the Spanish editor. So I'm going to add a, a donde esta? Any guesses? La biblioteca. Anybody watch Community? It's a great little wrap to Donde esta la biblioteca. So, adding that there. And there we have it. Pop right up. And then the text editor for Spanish also works in the answer choices. So, we'll click on the first button and we will say En la escuela. That's basically saying that it's in the school. Answer two, no lo sé. I don't know. That's answer number two. For ahí. It's over there, is what that one says. And uh, a key. It's right here. And then you choose, just as before, you choose the correct answer and hit save. It's going to prompt you to choose a standard. So we'll choose, we'll just go with this Spanish standard for now. You'd probably want to do something more on the side of geography or Spanish class, but for keeping this video succinct, we'll just click there. Done. If you want to tag it anything, we can. We'll tag it community. Like the TV show this question was inspired from. If we want students to be able to use the scratch pad, we can enable that right here. If you want to provide them a hint, that's available down here. You can even use the Spanish editor for providing the solution or the hint right here. Preview what it will look like to the student using the preview button at the top. And I'm going to go ahead and switch the screen to browser only just so you can make sure you're getting a good look at this. So we saved it. 
All right, and now we want to preview. I think the streaming is making this a little bit slow. So as you can see, here's the button. And this is what the student sees. Donde esta la biblioteca? They will read the question and hopefully they'll answer it correctly. And once they answer it, they hit submit. So, all right, we got it right. Good job, high five. And now we will save that question. And hit review. And that's how you use the Spanish text editor. I'm just going to go check, see if we have any questions. Let's see. No questions at the moment. Hmm. All right, well, that's it. I want to say thank you for tuning in on this quick tip on how to use the Spanish text editor in Edge Elastic. We hope you enjoy this and other teacher tips to come and let us know what you think. Have a great evening.